Hello and welcome to a new video about controlling my temperature thing here, yeah? So, last time we made our switching controller. This is working now. Actually, what I do not like is that, you know, the set point, it stays where it is. I want to see a bumpless changeover, yeah? And I also want to have the BAD control implemented. These are our goals today. So, first, bumpless changeover, what's that? Yeah? I want that the set point is tracked. If we are not in, in control mode, if we're in manual mode, I want the set point to stay at the actual, at the actual temperature. All right. So if I switch then to control mode, the set point is where the actual temperature is. Yeah? So the set point is tracked, set point tracking so that we can, uh, switch the control modes bumpless. This is always a good idea. Bumpless changeover, set point tracking. Let's implement this. So uh, somewhere we are measuring the new temperature here and here. Control time out. Okay. Here I will write else. Then I will already prepare here. Uh, if bit read I will not make an else. Why should I make an else? I will simply copy this. That's I like better. If the status is manual, if the status is manual, I will track the set point. This is good. Uh, so it's uh, actual temp set, but or what was the name? Actual temp. No. Please, Visual Studio, help me. Set point. Temp set, but here it is. Equals process temperature. I should have just looked here equals process temperature. This I will do here the control deviation I will only calculate in case I'm in switching control. So now I'm tracking this. Okay. And here uh, uh, status PID I prepare already the PID. Good. So now, now the temperature sh uh, set point should be tracked. Mm. Let's try this. If this is working. Here you see, I also added a new. It's just a cover, a new cover. Now it looks nice. Now it looks nice. Uploading, yes. Okay, something is going on here. Yes, the temperature set point is now tracked. If I change the actual temperature, you see it is tracked. And if I'm switching now to switching controller, see nothing happens. Even if I turn on the operation, nothing happens. Nothing happens here. This is good. Huh? Because the set point is simply tracked. Okay, all right. Switch back to manual mode. Set point tracking. Good idea. Okay. Ah, here, this outputs key code and so on. I can get rid of this. This is now working. Yeah. So where are they? <laughs> Somewhere here in the in the in the key are uh, here. Free uh, in. I don't need you. Uh, so we said we are going to implement now PAD controller. So I have also a library for this. Uh, PAD P it's called because actually it is 
not only BID, but there is also permanent statism and so on. What this is, I am not going to explain to, to you. Uh, we are just using the B, I and D controller with the parameters. The <laughs> the parameters are already prepared. Here we have the parameter configuration of the BID. It's parameter number 8. And, ooh, the scaling. The scaling. I also have to implement uh, my library scaler. Where is the scaler? Here is the scaler. The scaler is is uh, scaling the temperature value from 0 to 100%. You know, in BRD controllers we usually use percent values because then the, the parameters are of the same size. Uh, so if you have scaled always from 0 to 100%, you know, proportional gain parameter and, and, and so on, they have always the same size at least area of size. If you one time uh, use really physical values like degrees Celsius, for instance, yeah, then the Kp, the, the proportional gain factor, has another value. And if you then switch to Fahrenheit, it's a different scaling. The Kp must also change. If you do this from 0 to 100%, regardless if you have degree or Fahrenheit, just 0 to 200 to 100% and say, 0% is that temperature, 100% is that temperature, you can stay with the, with the parameter. So this is a usual way. Okay, and yeah. so we will add those, those things. Yeah. I will now make a scalar, huh? scale temps, scale temp, huh? then I will of course, process temple here have long process temp percent, and I will have set point percent. Temp set point percent. Okay, I have this scalar here, and I will also have a BIDP I will call it BID controller. Okay, so I have my pound pointers to those objects and I will do I will add those objects in, in handling here. So here I have again the scalar equal, no, temp scalar, it's called temp scalar. Scale temp. <laughs> New scalar. What we need? We need to have the uh, parameter, uh, so params, and we need to have the parameter offset. That's this. Now there's the scalar, and now we have the uh, BID controller is new BIDP. And here, what are we going to do to use there? Yeah. We again have params, the parameter, then we again have the parameter offset, and this is this time this 8 here. Yeah. Then we have to give a uh, a pointer to the set point value, and this is the address of temp set point percent, percent of course. Then we have the uh, actual value yeah, and a temp no process temp percent, yeah. and then we again have a debug board and this shall be serial. Yeah, so we will again have this verbose and so on like last time. Okay, so now we have a BID controller and here 
at if we are in BRD mode. We will calculate now out of the process temperature and the temperature set point the scaled. So process temp process temperature temp set point percent equals and now scale and a temp scaler, it was a temp scaler. <laughs> scale temp yeah. to percent and which value and the value is temp set point. Good, huh? Now we scale the temperature to temperature set point. Uh, then uh, the process temp person scale temp two percent process temp. Now, now we have uh, the two values in percent, and now we can make this smaller. Now we can say, okay, what what to what to if it's not turned on this BRD controller. I want that the output of the BRD controller is tracked. Okay, so there is. Hmm, I will do this anyway. If we are in PRD, I will... Okay, this is good. Here we have long min PRD limit equals minus 100 and max max PRT limit is plus 100. If the PRT is turned on, this is correct. If it's not turned on, I will set this min uh, PRT limit to the correcting value. And the max PRT limit to the correcting value. So this means I will limit the PRT controller to exactly this one value. Okay? It cannot go cannot go above or below this correcting value, whatever is inside. And if the PRT controller is not active, I will then track the internal variables of my PRT controller, you know, the I part and so on according these values and then I can say correcting value I will track that Or track it to limited output. No, I will not do this. Not do this. I will put this again here. I will track it. Let's see how this is working. Yeah. Maybe we have some fine tunings to do after correcting value is now a PRT controller and the actual method is get regulating. Okay, get regulating. Low limit is now this. High limit is this. This is either minus 100 and plus 100 percent or the actual correcting value and then verbose. Yeah.
my pose is currently set to zero. So now I should get the correct values of the BID controller. Hopefully. I hope, hopefully I have it in the right direction. You know, a BID controller, it can react either if the control deviations, no, you cannot tell. Yeah. So hopefully this is correct. But I think it should look good. I think it should look good. What is it now in, in temperature? Edit, uh, handle key event. If we are in main edit, switch. Okay, here we have also or status BID. Then we also want to have the temperature set point. Okay, and the temperature set point limit. I will set this to this temp scale 0 and temp scale 100%, the temperature set point. So here I write uh, get par params. Get param uh, and scale zero. And here scale one hundred percent. Good. No, this is yes, this is correct. It's correct. I don't know exactly. Let's see. Let's see what is happening if we are changing to this upload this. At least it's compiled clean. Now it should start to upload. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm switching to BID controller and I turn on, okay, there's nothing, there's nothing. Is the heat? If I now touch this, we should see, oh, it's going to plus. It's going to plus, you see the heat is coming on. Ah, this is bad because now it's too hot, it should cool. Yeah? This means I am actually reacting in the wrong direction. I'm actually reacting on the wrong in the wrong direction. So what to do, what to do, what, what happens if I turn on off this on? There's also, also some work still to do. Okay, so this means the, the BID controller is reacting in the wrong direction. This means uh, I have to use in minus and I have to limit to this to minus correcting value. Now it should work correct. Upload. Okay, switch to BID. Okay, minus. Now, ah, now it's blue. 
Now the blue has come on, so now it tries to cool. Yeah, now it tries to cool. And it's getting smaller, this cooling. See? Okay, so the BRD controller is doing something. If I'm now changing to manual mode, correcting value is now constant. If I, I should be able to change the, change it to zero. Yes, I'm still able to change this, so I can control. If I'm changing to switch controller, I should, and say, okay, I want to have 30 degree. Yes, it's heating. Okay, so this, this looks good. If I'm now changing to PRD controller, what happening then? Correcting value is set to 100%. Okay, and if I'm heating it up? Uh, typical behavior of a PRD controller. Of a limited PID controller, you know the high part would now exceed to goes to somewhere. However, it's limited to 100%, and this is why we see this going to 99.9, .9 and then again back to 100. This is good. So, and now I change the the temperature set point to 24. Uh huh. You see, it jumped to 82. It is still heating. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We have not even done anything, but we already see a uh, uh, wind-up, wind-up effect, yeah? So it would still heat, yeah? Heating, because I think it's correct, the, the, the controller thinks it's correct, but actually it's not correct, because then it would overshoot massively, yeah? But at least it's dropping, so the eye part is going to the right direction. Good. Good. Hmm. What I don't like if I turn it off, that this the correcting value is still adjusted, and then, then then I turn it on. Now if I turn it off, it's the correcting value is is zero. So we should track to zero, right? This I'm going to implement. This I'm going to implement now. So, if not active bit read status status on Mean PID limit is zero, max PID limit is zero. Because we're not putting something out. Yeah. Upload. Change the corresponding. Ah, now this is no longer working. Man, code. Of course, I only have to 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 limit this. <laughs> I only have to limit this in case we are in PID mode. Away with this. You can read. Oops. If we're in PID mode, I will limit it to, and we are not turned on, I will limit to zero. Otherwise, I do not care. Or should I also limit to the correcting value? No. If the VAD is not turned on? Yes, I think this is. 
I think this is correct. So I can change now. Yes, I can change now. If I switch to the switching controller, what was this? If I change to the switching controller, good. Nothing much changed. If I change to the PID controller, manual. Change it to 30. Now it's 30. Change to switching controller. It's set to zero. Of course, because the switching controller doesn't want to output something. PID controller, passed. Now I turn on the output. Now I change something here. It should start to cool. Yeah, it's, yes, it is cooling. Now I turn off the output and the correcting value is zero. Good. Okay. This now looks better. Let's let's change. Let's turn this power on here so that we can really adjust the temperature. Let's see. Let's see what is happening. Uh, I will now switch to the PID controller. And I want the actual temperature to rise to 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's starting to heat. I'm uh, of course not sure how the temperature set points and so on are correct. Huh? So the heating is go on, is going on. It's getting more. The temperature is it reacting or not? Yes, it's it's it's, it's rising, not very fast, but at least you know the the PAT parameters, this proportional gain and the integration time and so on. Hmm. They are for sure. It's just some values I had in my head. Try. <laughs> See. What has happened if we're reaching the 30 degree or not? <clears throat> At least the correcting value is already dropping again and since we are approaching the correct value so it is reacting fine I would say 30 degree not uh, too too high above now we are dropping the The heating temperature is still rising now it would be good to have some lines right it's very hard to say if this is now stable or not stable or what will happen this is not this is not working you know very visual I assume it's working now, I assume we now will start to cool and this will not make it better or something like this. And for adjustments reasons, it would be nice to have some graphs, some lines. Yeah? So how to get data out of this control here? Well, we can get data out of this control by using the serial interface. So that we put out data on the serial interface. How this is working, how we get out data there. Um, I will show you in the next video, all right? So for now, uh, now it's cooling. <laughs> if this is a good idea, I don't know. But at least this is, at least it's working. Okay, at least the PID controller is working. The adjustment of the PID, PID controller is, an, is a different topic. Good, well, now we implemented PID controller. Now actually that's, that's ready, okay? 
the only thing we have to implement also is that we are losing the temperature measurement or do not trust the temperature measurement then we have to you know for safety reasons turn off the heating or something like this yeah? like we are to, like we would turn off here yeah so safety implement safety if if this sensor is failing to whatever reason if we don't have the correct value from our system we'll also do it all right so for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye